Meghan Markle was flown home from New York City in a $43 million private jet laid on by George and Amal Clooney, and in an extraordinary baby shower gift the A-listers picked up the $125,000 bill, Mail in Line can exclusively reveal. The Duchess of Sussex came back to Britain with Amal and her twins early this morning after the extravagant $500,000 trip to the Big Apple, where she partied for five nights with her celebrity friends. Meghan landed at Farnborough Airport in Hampshire after a $250,000 £200, round trip to America following the lavish baby shower thrown by Serena Williams, Jessica Mulroney, and one of the Royal Sorority Sisters from Northwestern University. Mailinline can reveal the $43 million Gulfstream G450 private jet is owned by a U.S. company with the same name as one registered to the same Los Angeles address as two of George Clooney's film companies, and all three appear to have the same agent. But it is not clear if the Clooney's own the plane or just have use of it, and the actor's spokesman is yet to respond. Last night Meghan boarded the luxury plane just hours after she was thrown a lavish baby shower by her closest friends in a $75,000 a night, £57,000, New York penthouse reputedly the most expensive hotel room in America. After the party ended Amal followed behind with twins Alexander and Ella, with the family traveling back to Britain with Meghan from the exclusive Teterboro private airport in New Jersey. Meghan and her husband Prince Harry have become extremely close to the A-list couple, who attended their Windsor wedding last May and soon afterwards hosted the newlyweds for four days at their Lake Como retreat. George and Amal who used the jet themselves to split their time between their US and UK mansions, are even rumored as possible godparents to the royal couple's baby, due in April. Kensington Palace today declined to comment on the transatlantic flight gift, while the Clooney's have yet to respond to Mail in Line's request. Meghan and Harry are so close Mr. Clooney even made an extraordinary intervention in the ongoing turmoil caused by Meghan's toxic relationship with her estranged U.S. family, including her father Thomas, who pulled out of her wedding at the last minute. The actor, 57, claimed the Duchess, 37, is being pursued, vilified and chased in the same way that Princess Diana was. The star said history was repeating itself and warned, we've seen how that ends. Diana died in a Paris car crash in 1997 after her driver, who had been drinking, attempted to drive away at speed from paparazzi photographers. There is no suggestion Meghan has ever been pursued in this way. He said, they're just chasing Meghan Markle everywhere, she's been pursued and vilified. She's a woman who is seven months pregnant, and she is being pursued and vilified and chased in the same way that Diana was, and it's history repeating itself. And we've seen how that ends. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to see that. You're taking a letter from a daughter to a father and broadcasting it everywhere. She's getting a raw deal there, it's irresponsible. I'm sort of surprised by that. Dutta's comments caused some fury among royal watchers, including royal correspondents at the height of Diana's fame, who said Clooney should direct his concern at the Duchess's father not the press. Dot Meghan, who is seven months pregnant, was whisked away from Farnborough Airport in two blacked-out Land Rover Discovery vehicles containing her security team, luggage and gifts today. The eye-watering cost and extraordinarily lavish nature of Meghan's trip to New York has caused some disquiet in Britain despite Kensington Palace insisting it was privately funded.
Today it also emerged that Kate Middleton missed Meghan's baby shower after opting instead for a secret family skiing trip in a move that will do nothing to dampen speculation of a royal rift between the pair. The Duchess, who will give birth in April, was pictured boarding the private plane on Wednesday evening less than an hour after she was seen leaving her swanky Upper East Side hotel which served as the venue for her star-studded party. Meghan's extremely luxurious mode of transportation back to the UK A Gulfstream G450 twin-jet plane is thought to have cost a staggering $125,000 £96,000 for the six-hour journey back to the UK from the Big Apple. The 37-year-old royal is also thought to have arrived in New York via private jet, meaning that a phenomenal $250,000 200,000 pounds was spent on her round trip travel for the personal girls trip. After the whirlwind five night trip, which appears to have cost up to $100,000, 75,000 pounds per day in hotels, events, food, drink and gifts, Meghan has just two nights to recover at her London home before flying to Morocco with Prince Harry on Saturday for a three-day trip to the North African country, 